I am Lexi Hazam, an attorney at Leaf Cabracer Hyman and Bernstein, representing plaintiffs in defective hip implant cases nationwide. I'd like to provide you with an update on the Stryker recalled hip litigation. Lawsuits have now been brought by more than 1,700 persons injured by two Stryker hip implants, the Rejuvenate and the ABG2. Both were put on the market by Stryker in 2009 and recalled in July of 2012. To know if you received one of the recalled Stryker hips, you can request the sticker page and implant operative report from the hospital where you had your implant surgery. The Stryker litigation is in the discovery phase with Stryker and the plaintiffs exchanging relevant information and documents. The first trials, called bellwether trials, will take place in spring and summer 2015. A bellwether case is a trial intended to serve as a representative case for a large number of similar cases involving the same allegedly defective product. Note that under the law of each state, there is a statute of limitations, or deadline, for bringing a lawsuit. It may be as short as one year in some states, and in many states it is two years. The point at which the clock starts ticking varies with the case, but in some cases it may be from the date of the recall, even if you have not had a revision surgery. For persons residing in states with a two-year statute of limitations, the deadline to file a lawsuit may thus be this coming July of 2014. If you believe you may wish to bring a lawsuit, we recommend you contact a lawyer promptly in order to preserve your rights. Finally, note that while Broadspire, a third-party contractor hired by Stryker, offers reimbursement for certain out-of-pocket costs you may incur due to the recalled hips, submitting a claim to Broadspire is not the same as filing a lawsuit and does not stop the statute of limitations. In addition, Broadspire does not offer compensation for pain and suffering usually the largest component of damages. Only a lawsuit can do so. Leaf Cabracer has long-standing experience in defective hip litigation and is part of the lead counsel committee in the Stryker multi-district litigation. If you'd like to speak to an attorney for a free consultation regarding your potential Stryker claim, please contact us.